me. Hey, you guys! It's Monday! Cause here I come. Waiting for new fun friends to join. Are we live on the Instagram? Not yet? Jeffrey is here helping me sort this out. This is my jam! I like shopping. I hate going to the grocery store. I hate washing clothes. I like painting my nails. It excites me. You have to work to get this good. Just waiting for Instagram to go live so we can gather the folks. Thank you for joining us. Stick around. It's just going to be a few moments while we're getting Instagram uploaded. Uh, we can only stream to Facebook and Instagram live through a new platform that we're trying tonight uh, called StreamYard. So we are streaming just from a phone, filming our broadcast on Instagram. And just to let you know through a pinned comment on Instagram, come join us through the link um, in those comments at youtubelive.com or on facebooklive.com at the Marty Thomas fan page account. You can find that on my homepage and my Facebook, which is a public page, or you can find it in the bio of my Instagram account, which is Marty Thomas Loves You. Uh, so in that pinned account, come find us on YouTube because you'll have a much better experience as we are trying a new streaming system. Hey, Christina, I see you there. We'll bring you on in just a little while. The folks are joining. Yes, ma'am. Hey, 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 we're just about ready to start. Just getting it all set up here. Our YouTube link. Looks at her ass and thinks she's got a chance. So maybe if you brought me, one day you'll end up like me. That's right. A diva from head to toe. There we go. Figuring it out. You have to work to get this good. Ooh, you gotta squeeze your ass in the pan, girl. Oh, we're doing great. Hey, Instagram users, if you're just joining us, uh, come on over to YouTube. There's a link in the comment section. It's pinned in the comments on Instagram, on my Instagram account, letting you know where you can come and join us on YouTube. And um, you can also come to the Marty Thomas fan page account on uh, Facebook, and it's streaming live there as well. We'd love to have you join us. Amen. Thank you. Welcome to all of you who are with us. I have a great show for you tonight. Uh, back in the day at the industry bar, um, let me know if you guys, if any of you came out to see the industry bar show. We did eight years every Monday night uplifting and putting on a pedestal, powerful female talent and uh, beautiful, imaginative, smart, strong, talented women, uh, a platform to shine to talent. Um, New York City. Every Monday night, New York City's finest female being tribute to history's most over-the-top icons. I loved it. It gave me something to look forward to every week. It gave me um, an opportunity to be able to listen, um, sing for me and for all of uh, for our audience every week. And we've quarantined ourselves, of man and woman and all those in between. 
Uh, we, I need something to look forward to again every week. So about three weeks ago, we started doing the Diva Show every Monday night. And I've been calling out all my faves to come and guest with us and entertain you just for fun. Throughout the show tonight, if you'd like to throw some tips our way, I will send that out to the girls as well. Uh, not expected, of course. Lots of people are out of work right now, but artists have been hit very, very hard. Turns out we are unemployed. So if you want to send any tips, you can send them on Venmo uh, to at Marty Thomas, Marty with a Y, um, and I will share that with my talent tonight. Um, so let me open this show with a song before I introduce you to all of my divas tonight. I thought this one was appropriate as a uh, it stresses how I'm feeling. Turn up this volume. I'm no longer broken hearted. So glad I came here tonight. I see you've got what I wanted. Baby, you got what I like. I can see that you're watching me. Come over, talk to me. Need you to give me a sign. You got that something sweet. I don't come easily. What I need tonight. I came here for love. For someone to hold me down. I won't give it up. I want you to reach out. I came here for love. I came here for love. Oh, I want you to reach out, yeah. I'm so ready to get on it. You follow me, you'll be fine. I'm in too deep, have I fallen? Without anyone inside, I can see that you're watching me. Come over, talk to me, need you to give me a sign. You got that something, I don't come easily. What I need tonight, I came here for love. For someone to hold me down, I won't give it up. I want you to reach out, I came here for love. I came here for love I want you to reach out This is what you came here for You came here for love I won't give, I won't give it up This is what you came here for You came here for love I won't give, I won't give it up This is what you came here for Came here for love I won't give, I won't give it up This is what you came here for You came here for love I want you to reach out I came here for love I won't give it up I want you to reach out I came here for love, oh, I want you to reach out. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Oh, what was that? The crowd just goes mild. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, stop it, Instagram. Stop it, Facebook. YouTube, you knock it off. How embarrassing, honestly. I appreciate it, I do, I do, thank you. Thank you. So welcome. If you are just joining us a little bit late, if you're on Instagram, come over and join us through the link that's pinned in the comments or that is tagged in my bio on my homepage, my Instagram page. Uh, come to the YouTube live feed or the Facebook live feed that's on my uh, 
fan page, Marty Thomas fan page, you can find if you search it on Facebook. It's a public page, and you'll just get a much better experience, higher quality, better sound, better video, because I want you to be able to hear these ladies that I'm going to introduce you to. Um, great, we're doing great. Uh, so I'm going to introduce you to the first diva. I've got an awesome cast tonight, and uh, my first cast member I'm going to introduce you to is brand new to the diva show. I met her this past summer touring internationally with Postmodern Jukebox. Uh, we were doing cruise ships throughout Europe and Iceland and um, some really questionable areas of Canada, and I fell in love with her especially her voice. Guys, please help me welcome to the Diva Show, making her Diva debut. This is Caitlin Martin. There she is. Ah! What a warm welcome. Oh, yeah, I know. They're a very kind audience. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Sometimes they're abrupt with their Very life. authentic. Authentic, yeah. That was the goal. Uh, welcome, <laughs> Caitlin. Welcome to the Diva Show. Hi, glad to be here. I'm glad you're here. You're joining us from Atlanta, Georgia, where you are, where you're from and where you're living. Yeah. Uh, and you are hunkering down with family right now, which is beautiful. Yes. What does quarantine look like in Atlanta, Georgia? It looks like a lot of people who still want to go to the beach. Um, mm. Our governor's not the brightest, but yeah. I mean... <clears throat> The, the great thing about Georgia is that it is so expansive. It is so open. So it is easier to maintain like the six foot distances when you have to go out and things like that of that nature. There's not just one Publix grocery store. There's 50 on the same street. So luckily people haven't run out of things really yet. People are still taking all of the toilet paper. I don't know what that's about. But, that's um, the weirdest part of this quarantine is the toilet paper of like, 2020. Yeah, nobody said that the toilet paper was going to go, but I don't, I don't know. That's of all strange. things to stop on, that's the thing. That's the thing. Who knows? What, what I get about, about my friends in the South and then the Midwest is the ability to jump and drive out to the middle of air and, you know, get some fresh air and walk around. We quite have that luxury in New York City. You know, it's been very nice to be able to um, go and take my dog for a walk down the street and see other people walking out with their children and with their dogs and being able to wave and be like, oh, I haven't seen this neighbor in a long time. So if that is, I would not trade that for anything. I am kind of lucky that I'm able to be be down here in the South. And the weather's been so nice. It's been beautiful. So we've really been lucking out with that. Yeah. We're hoping that one of these, you will swap all of that, at least temporarily, and come grace us in New York City for a bit. Yeah, when everything starts to pick back up again and we get an industry back, that would be that would be ideal. I'll tell all these folks where they can find you on social media in just a minute, but you sing us a song, yes? Yes, of course. Um, I have been feeling very, well, I've been longing for my Broadway roots, so... I am gonna sing a little Broadway song from a very small, tiny waitress called Musical. I don't uh, <laughs> waitress called Musical. Musical called Waitress. I love Tress. <laughs> yeah, me too. Sing uh, for so me, I'm beautiful. Little, she used to used to be mine. So let's do that. Works with the sound and everything's good. <clears throat> uh oh, that's very low. No one can hear that. Okay, let's try this again. It's not simple to say for most days. I don't recognize me. The shoes in this sacred this place, its patrons take more than I gave them. It's not easy to know I'm not anything Like I used to be Although it's true I was never Attention sweet Center but I still remember that girl She's in my flat is good, but she lies. She is hard on the soul. She is broken. 
That was beautiful. Just beautiful. Aw, thank you. This <laughs> is virtual as well. Slight. But they did. Oh, what did you say? It kind of broke up. What did you say? Um, the, the audience is digital as well. They're, so they're delayed just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a little makes bit. Sense. Makes sense. Caitlin, you sound beautiful. <laughs> thank you. It feels good to belt one out. I bet it does. As you can find her, you can find Caitlin on Instagram at the Caitlin Martin. Uh, right below her picture, you can see that is actually Instagram handle. Is that the best way to stay in touch with you, Caitlin, and find out what you're up to? Yeah, that's the absolute best way. Um, I also um, I'm new to the tick and the talk, so that is one. <laughs> I have the same name, the same handle. Um, on, Just join TikTok as well. You yeah, the only one that's different is my Facebook, which is Caitlin Renee, which is my middle name. So, um, yes, yeah, so you can find me uh, on all of those platforms. Thank you so much for joining us, Caitlin. Uh, for those of you who are watching the show, know that you can ask questions. For so you can uh, chat with me. Let us know section of each platform. Uh, let us know where um, it's uh, what's been in this live show is. You know, we did a, a show every Monday in Midtown Manhattan, and we would get from all over the world, but we didn't actually get to see it in where everybody was from. So put in the comments, let us know where you're working from, really interested uh, to connect. And if you throw a tip out to the ladies tonight, uh, please, not expected, um, but kind of you, if you're in a position to contribute, 
out there, times are tough. And I will send that money out to the ladies as we've been doing the last few weeks. Guys, this is Caitlin Martin. Find her on Instagram at the Caitlin Martin. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I love you so much. Stick around. Maybe we'll get to chat all four of us in just a second. Cool. I will. Bye. All right. Introduce you to another diva. Uh, her here. Yes. Um, this diva, she is five Broadway shows deep. I think I've lost my notebook with my notes and I never remember her shows. Most recently, she was working on uh, Diana the, the Musical. She was in Come From Away seconds before that. She did Grease on Broadway. I know there were two notebooks. I probably knocked it off here. Uh, but we'll bring her on and let her tell us what Broadway shows she's done because it's a list, honey. Guys, welcome to the stage, the beautiful and talented. This is Broadway's Holly Ann Burr. I'm going to unmute you. You have to unmute yourself, Holly. I did it. Magic. There it is. <laughs> Yay. Hi. Hi. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, audience. Thank you. Thank you. I know. It's a great so audience. Much. Just a bro. Really good tonight. Yeah, it's a Gosh. great crowd. Oh, Holly, and Holly. they take cues well. They really nice. do. They really do. When you're like, okay, <laughs> enough. They're like, stop. Terrified <laughs> of it. <laughs> Um, nice to I see you, it. Holly. Are you nice joining us you from? Too, you're joining us from Brooklyn. My home in Woodside, Woodside, Queens. A Queens gal. Um, yes. It's it's great to see your face. It's been a hot minute since I've seen you, especially in person. But even online, it's been a hot minute since I've seen you. I know. Been been busy until all of this shenanigans. So that's <sighs> good. <laughs> yeah, and you're the first diva that we've had on the live show that can speak to what um, that felt like the day that Broadway shut down. Because who could have ever seen that oh, coming? Yeah. <laughs> it was really weird because it was, uh, uh, you know, we started, there started being conversations at the theater, things like uh, people were concerned about uh, signing autographs at the stage door because of what was going on and, and everything else. And some people started being concerned our producers were really great and they uh they told everyone that they no one was required to they gave us an alternate exit if we wanted to avoid having contact with people and then they started giving uh speech outside the stage door our security is saying please don't touch the actors they'll happy to sign but they're going to use their own markers and please don't touch them you know in any way so we started doing that for a while for anyone who wanted to still sign and then after that uh things started deteriorating in the B and so we started being like this is what's happening here <laughs> um and then we got a you know we were in the middle of rehearsal one day and they came in and said hey so <laughs> but we were having rehearsal right up until because previews so we were having rehearsal right up until the point when they uh suspended all the Broadway shows postponed, postponed. all the Broadway shows so um yeah so uh, everybody's really confident that we'll be back as soon as we are allowed to be. Um, but, you know, in the meantime, we're just kind of hanging out. <laughs> of course. And that post-show vibe, which is such an important part of entertainment world, especially the Broadway world. I've always been such a hugger. And especially at stage doors, I'm always so happy to see people. And I'm so oh, yeah. thrilled and honored that anybody would wait to say hi to me after a show. That I've always been so huggy and hands-on. And uh, yes. it's like how far that stretches, it's going to be really interesting to see how deeply that affects the entertainment world because meet and greets all together are going to be affected. It's, it's pretty oh, yeah. wild, it's far stretching. Well, even just, I mean, you know, uh, I, I was looking at, um, Jen Cody posted something a few days ago about how, you know, after 9-11, people were afraid to go back to the theaters because gathering in big groups was something that was very nerve wracking for a lot of people, you know, um, after something like that in New York. And uh, they had to do like commercials and like let people know it was okay to come back. And I'm sure that we're going to experience another situation similar to that where, you know, we're, once everything is cleared to go back and we are, you know, doing the thing again, we're going to have to be like, guys, guys, come on. It's okay. <laughs> so yes, of course. We'll, uh, hopefully, hopefully get back to it one of these days. But, you know, it's nice to have. Um, I, I mean, more the days of social media, you know, like we, this wouldn't have even been an option. So this is a lovely a lovely moment. It's true. And I, I'm grateful for uh, what we've figured out little, little by little, we're in, improving 
this show weekly and we're uh, stepping up our production value, but I'm just grateful for it. I see that Karen is watching from Scotland. Welcome, Karen. Tabby Cat is watching from St. Louis. Yay. Hi, Tabby. Uh, I know there are some folks watching. Brooke is in California. Um, I know Jennifer is in Arkansas. Uh, I see some folks here from Georgia. I see some folks in Massachusetts, uh, lots of New Yorkers. It's just, it's cool when you're doing something like this to see who you're reaching. Um, Holly, I'm glad you're here. Oh, Rachel Potter's yeah. in Hoboken. Broadway star Rachel Potter, glad she's here. And Bo Spear, who uh, was very instrumental in helping me start the Diva Show back in the early days of the Diva Show. He did all of our original social media and our original YouTube footage. Um, he's here tonight watching. For, are you in New York, Bo? You'll let me know in a second. Uh, Holly Butler, would you sing a song for these beautiful people and me? I would love to. What are you going to sing yeah, for I'm us? Yeah, I'm going to sing. <laughs> I, You know, it's funny because I when when you asked me to do this, I was like, what do I want to sing? And then I was like, oh, you know, these old standards from Diva, but actually sing something I'm never saying at Diva, which also felt very appropriate in terms of a lot of the ways some of us are feeling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm singing Holding to the Ground from Falsettos. Um, Beautiful. So yeah, One of my all-time favorite shows. Guys, give it up for Holly Ann Butler. Uh, mine too. Oh, everything stopped. Hold, please. Technical difficulties. Let's try this again. Here we go. I was sure growing up I would live the life my mother assumed I'd live. Very Jewish, very middle class, and very straight. Where healthy men stayed healthy men, and marriages were long and great. I smile, I don't complain. Trying to keep sane as the rules keep changing, families aren't what they were. Thank God there's a husband and a child whom I adore. But then there's more, so many more. And there's always more. Life is never what you plan. Life is moments you can't understand. And that is life. I don't astound. Holding to the ground as the ground keeps shifting, keeping my balance square. Trying not to care about this man whom Marvin loves. But that's my life. He shared my life. Yes, that's my life. Life is never what you Life is moments you can't understand, and that is life. Holding to the ground as the ground keeps shifting. Trying to stay sane as the rules keep changing. Keeping up my head as my heart falls out of song. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. That's it. Oh, Holly, that's so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, it was beautiful. Ah, that was great. Um, I just love getting to hear you sing. It's exciting to hear well, you thanks, sing. Um, it's exciting for many reasons, but um, I just, that every time I get to hear you sing, it's like I get to hear um, a new corner of what it is that you do because you're, um, you're so versatile. And I think that's what's made you such a staple in the Broadway community. I did find my list. Um, 
on Broadway, Diana, <laughs> Come From Away, On the Town, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, Greece, National Tours, Evita, Flash, Shrek, Jersey Boys. That's not even counting all of your um, regional credits, uh, but yeah. 20 goals are. And I think that's a testament to how versatile you are as a singer and as an entertainer is you have so many corners and tricks to your voice that you're a legit soprano. You're a way belter. You can do pop stuff. You can do so many cool things. And uh, you're sweet to share that with everybody. Well, thanks, Marty. Thanks for having me. So it's so nice to get to hear you sing too, obviously. Um, Stephen, my boyfriend, uh, Stephen Taylor, about like what an awesome freak of nature you are, that your voice is just sick. So it's nice Thank to you. sit here and listen to you sing also, you know. Stephen Taylor on this show one of these days. Yes. <laughs> we, um, we, uh, uh, we've been singing um, people like us. Broadway duets ever, um, and uh, we should we should come on and do it for you guys one of these days. And um, you guys can find <laughs> uh, you can find Holly on Instagram. Her Instagram handle is uh, perf- the performing pinup or performing pinup. It's just at performing pinup. Yep. Performing the at sign Holly has uh, a pin-up. branding aesthetic that is uh, very old school and very burlesque <laughs> and very. Uh, yesteryear and it speaks not only to her everyday life you can to follow Holly is to follow it as well Uh, it also speaks to her uh, burlesque personality which uh, if you already are following Holly you know that she is a um, celebrated burlesque entertainer in New York and beyond uh, that you can see her her burlesque uh, persona perform uh often when the world is up and at them but you're doing uh, a live stream on <laughs> friday is that correct yes friday and what is um that? sorry the, there was a little delay um i um i'm teaching an online pole dancing class on friday because when it's not quarantine uh, i teach uh pole dancing at the in midtown manhattan um and so, yeah we're doing a little live stream uh pole Polography class uh, on Friday. It will be poll centric, but there'll be a bunch of stuff that you could do even if you don't have a poll around. Um, you can use a wall or, you know, uh, whatever. And then uh, if you stay tuned to my Instagram page, there'll be some floor worky kind of classes coming up. Uh, just giving everybody something to do in these weirdest times. I'm um, uh, posting. Holly's uh, Instagram handle in the comments right now. If you want to go find her and connect with her, uh, you can find more details about how to uh, find her class on Friday. I know that uh, as part of our drag race Friday night, uh, Jeffrey and I might just tune in. Jeffrey, oh, can I? Yeah. Come on over here, Jeffrey. Poke your head in. Um, This is my boyfriend, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, who's helping us with tech this evening. Mm Mm-hmm. That's him. Thank you, Jeffrey. Maybe we'll class on Friday and watch Drag Race together. Yes. It's, it's a, this class is at six, so we'll be done by, don't worry. We're avid Drag Race watchers in my house. We just got our, our Team Jackie shirts. Yay! So. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. We, just we got, need to have Jackie we just Cox on the Diva show. That would be awesome. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> I love that beach. Um, Holly, thank you so much. I appreciate you endlessly. Thank Thank you, you. thank you, thank you. Um, Guys, Holly Ann Butler, find her on Instagram. Oh, this is so much fun. Um, If you are in quarantine and you're cleaning during the day or you're organizing, I uh, implore you, go to the Spotify or the iTunes and album slow dancing with a boy on broadway records i released a full-length album in december hit number nine on the itunes pop charts uh couldn't be more proud of it uh 12 beautiful songs produced by jamie ray uh with some awesome special guests like rachel potter and um i it's just beautiful i'm so proud of this album if you'd take time to go look at uh, my Spotify account and maybe give me a follow and listen to that record. I'd appreciate it. A couple of shout outs. Thank you to Melissa Eichmann. I love you. And Jennifer Myers, Prosky, you beautiful Kansas City. Ian Twin, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Joe Moore, thank you guys so much for joining us on uh, our uh, 
dog is playing with his toy. Uh, and thank you, Venmo tip. If you would like to tip uh, the girls tonight, just send me a little shout out tip at Venmo at Marty Thomas, and I will share the love with these. Uh, but thank you so much to our benefactors this evening. Ann McCroskey, you are just the best at the beautiful Miller Marley uh, in Kansas City, Mo. I appreciate you. And uh, my dog's demanding that he have a moment of feature in the show tonight. This is Uncle Charlie. Uncle Charlie, this is everybody. Mm hmm Good boy. Okay. Uh, one more of my divas. Uh, this next one is pro uh, my most recent um, uh, that did the diva show at Industry. She only got to do two shows with us at the Industry show before we um, uh, took our weekly show off the rock. Uh, she she released uh, several singles in the last few months that we get to talk about. This voice is so special. Uh, she is from Spain, and she is joining us here. Guys, please say hello to Pepper Solana. Hi! Oh, Yay! Guys, <laughs> Wait, guys, I don't think you heard me. It's Pepper Solana. <laughs> you guys, Pepper Solana. There it is. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm okay. Um, hi, Pepper. Hi. Where are you joining us? New York right now. Where are you? I stayed in New York. I moved from, I was in Brooklyn and I moved uptown. So I'm uptown oh. now. Yeah. Nice to see you. Not very good with this technology thing. Thank you. I'm so glad I made it work. <laughs> We're getting there. I, I think I'm learning so much about technology in this new age of what entertainment looks like post nice. um, COVID-19. And um, as is what's going on is right now, uh, it's also in a lot of ways, interestingly exciting, uh, the way that it's affecting the way that people consume content and the opportunities that it's giving artists to connect one-on-one -on -one with their fan base in a completely new and unique way over the world. It's really cool. Yeah, totally. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've always been pretty bad, but now I really got to learn how to use this because look at this. I was like moving around, but I love it. I love that you're doing this. This is beautiful. I love to be back at Diva. It's so exciting. I'm excited to have you. Um, I, yeah. I really hated that we only got to have you on the show at Industry a couple of times because oh, Diva, I know. Diva was an interesting show. It was something that it, it takes, um, it takes, it took several weeks for to get used to Matt and the working in nightlife okay. and what the show was. And it was always interesting to see the growth of performers that did the show from week one to week like six or seven. Right. Uh, but you built such a huge fast that the two performances with us and it was that voice. Oh, for me, it was, it was wonderful. I mean, it was, it was one of my first like performance in New York for real because I had a few shows when I first got here but it wasn't the same Diva was like the first I don't know like real show I had one like off Broadway I gotta say before that but it was Soul like I Christmas. was like get in here yeah I had that one that was my first one but then after that I was just doing my own small shows or whatever so when you call me for Diva I was so excited about it also for me it's, this is a special one because it's the first time I sing live in like three months or something like that. I've done a couple of videos, but I had a surgery in January. So it's like my first official show. <laughs> you had vocal surgery? Yeah. Oh man, that's the scariest thing in the world for a singer. Yes, yes. And successful, I see. Yeah, I'm still, still actually, it sounds horrible, but actually this quarantine is helping me like take my time, my sweet time. So it's good. Cause I was supposed to come back, like get back to work and like, 15 days ago and now I'm like I have my sweet time to like slowly recover I'm in like 80 percent I'm good I'm doing good I'm very happy putting in things right now you're putting some music <laughs> together yes <laughs> yes I'm putting some music together this time I'm writing everything and I'm probably going to be uh behind the production um I mean like um there are a lot of things changing now the not just the because of the virus but like everything on my career in a good way uh, so I'm going to take more control of my of my stuff. So I'm very excited about that. I'm excited about that as well. Yeah. Uh, 
singles available on iTunes and Spotify that mm -hmm. people can find if they look you up. Yes. Pepper Solana, you can see her name right there below her face. And uh, you can find her, your Instagram handle, remind me of your Instagram handle again. Uh, Pepper Solana, just like Pepper that. Pepper Solana. Okay, so you can find her on Instagram and get to see her videos. And now um, I'm going to let her share with you exactly why you want to follow this girl and keep up with <laughs> what she's writing and what she's doing. Um, I ask her, I, I really was... I requested this song because yeah. since the day I heard um, the artist, one of my absolute faves right now, I cannot wait for her album. The first day I heard this woman sing, I thought, oh my God, Pepper needs no. to sing these songs. So and uh, there are not many people on the, when you hear Yeba, you think that somebody should cover that song. You just want to hear Yeba, <laughs> but I'm here to sing this song <laughs> guys we're on instagram and uh please welcome Pat. thank you all right all right so let's do this okay so the song i'm gonna sing um it's evergreen is actually one of the first songs um i heard from yeba it's a really incredible tune it's very special for me because it teaches me a lot she teaches me a lot as an artist every day so yeah let's do this all right, all right, are you ready, y'all? I love been here. All right, let me see if this works. I kissed my penny and I threw it in. I prayed I keep my soul. Went down to the river when the water bent. The only place I know. Oh, I can see the forest for the trees. Will you wait for me? Will you wait for me? Will you wait for me? My evergreen. Standing at the water's end. The Mississippi is overflowing. All, all your covering in my head. You bring the meaning to my morning. Oh, I can see the forest for the trees will you wait for me will you wait for me will you wait wait for me my Pepper 
freaking Solana. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is a crazy good show tonight. I love uh, it. It's so good. Caitlin Martin, um, that voice, and Holly Butler, uh, and Pepper Solana, three such, such unique women. That was always what I was so excited about, about doing the Diva Show, was trying to pair up three women that were super unique. But I was also very specific with casting the Diva Show that I, I wanted to find women who were not just soloists, that could sing with other right. women, but could also support each other. Because I think women supporting women is so important. Yes. Uh, just anyone supporting anyone right now. When times are tough, I like seeing people who can uh, put themselves aside for a second and celebrate others and clap their hands. Yes. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm I am watching the feed of all of the the women who are here with us tonight and watching mm -hmm. Angela Burchett dance and throw her hands at a screen that she's not even on camera <laughs> made me <laughs> so happy. <laughs> That was amazing. Your voice is stellar. Thank you. It's 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 different now. It changed a lot for me. Like, um, yeah. I mean, I know for everybody else it might be the same, but for me it's been a huge change because I had what I had since I was 15. So now it's like gone and it's just like I'm relearning everything. So it means the world to me to be here tonight. Did, it's so cute. What was going on with you? So I had a cyst, I had a really bad one, but it, it was because I had, I had a sulcus, which is basically that you're missing like a piece of vocal cord. Just like, I was born like that, apparently. So that gave me, yeah, that gave me a, a cyst, but like a gigantic cyst. And I had it since I was like 15. Wow. So I was like working around it, I was fine. But at some point I got to a point like a few months ago that I was like, oh, this is not good. Like something's going on, I was like, Nah, I was like no voice in the morning. It was just gone. So yeah, it's it's very exciting for me, like to be back and do this again. I'm excited to see you too. Um, and you're you're working on your own music while you're in uh, quarantine. Uh, when can we expect to see some of that? Well, probably I'm gonna have at least one song in the next month for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna do like a home video. I'm trying to figure out like the details to do everything. You know, this quarantine changed a lot of stuff. I was gonna have a professional studio and now I got to figure it out on my own and yeah computers are not my thing they don't like me I don't like them it's like a <laughs> love-hate relationship so I'm, I'm gonna bring Caitlin and Holly back real yes, quick just for a second please. there's Miss Caitlin hey, ladies. Uh, I think Holly's here uh, it might take just a second to get Holly back on She's coming. So Caitlin, uh, this is Caitlin, Holly, Pepper. Uh, none of you ever got to do the Diva show together as a trio. Um, and it's it's an honor for me to be able to introduce you to each other because I I have such, I hold you all three in such high esteem. Yeah, oh, you're so cute. I love um, it. So the Diva show celebrated iconic female artists. I think Holly's frozen, maybe. Oh, it looks like, yeah. I'm going to remove her and bring her back no, in and see what happens. Um, so the Diva Show is all about those iconic female voices. Pepper, who is your, who are your iconic divas that you grew up emulating and singing along with? It's hard. I grew up singing a lot of stuff. Uh, I was obsessed with Janis Joplin when I was a kid. Because you grew up in Spain, young. yes? Yes, I grew up born and raised. I came here three years ago. So it was everything for me was wonderful. Everything that came from the United States, I was like obsessed with every artist for me. <laughs> I would say Janis Joplin, Aretha Franklin for sure. Um, now, more recently, I'm very, I'm totally obsessed with Lala Hathaway. Um, she's wonderful. Of course, Yeva, she's like insane. Her runs are like, I'm learning a lot from her. Um, I just love every, I, I'm obsessed with a lot of people. Like I used to go see Layla Hathaway at BB King's when it was open on oh, Times Square. She would do live God. shows there and she would do that thing where she split her vocal cords and I sang know. harmony with herself and it's live, so it was wild. Live, she would say, the audience would freak out and this was before social media and before Facebook and things. And she would go, I know. What do you do with it? You can't record it because nobody believes that you're doing it at the same right. time. And even if you video it, people think you're faking it. Um, right. And she was so right. Uh, but she's a master. 
she's from a different planet like i don't know it's it's insane i grew up listening to a lot of male singers actually i was into rock and roll when i was a kid i was like black cross rolling stones all that stuff that kind so of scans like, honestly that rock vibe with you yeah. Kate, caitlin um who were your divas growing up caitlin oh i can't hear you all of a sudden oh i can't hear her neither there it goes all right can i any can i hear you can you unplug your headphones and plug them back in and see? And Holly, are you with us? Oh, this is going well. <laughs> yeah, my connection's a little body, but I'm here. There it goes. Oh, Holly, who are your uh, go-to divas that you grew up listening to? Um, I one of my one of my big ones, like when I got uh, to college, was Donna Murphy. I became oh yeah very obsessed with her and listened to. So all of the cast recording a million times. Um, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe five or six years ago, uh, I spent her with her. And my, uh, uh, I stayed very cool. I like, you know, had regular conversations. We were totally fine. Everything was fine. And then the last day, um, my mom came and she was talking with Donna and I. And my mom, looked at her and said has she told you she's obsessed with you and it was like <laughs> full mean word vomit i literally was like all these cast recordings and i like could not stop talking she's gracious and fabulous about it <laughs> I've definitely done the word vomit thing. I've done it with Linda Etter a few times and running into her. I just can't stop talking and telling her everything that I know about her as though she doesn't know these facts about herself. Uh, but Donna Murphy, that's a classic. Caitlin, can we hear you yet? Ah, oh, we can't hear you. Rats, can you type your answer into the comments box of who your um, ultimate iconic divas are? Yeah. And I'll read them in just a minute. Guys, uh, g give a follow to Performing Pinup, Holly Butler, to um, at Pepper Solana, um, and to at the Caitlin Martin, and find them on the Instagrams and figure out where you can hear their music, where you can see what they're working on. When Broadway kicks back up again, you can go see um, Holly. Hopefully, Diana will open with a, a Fury, and you'll get to see Holly on the, the Great White Way as well. Um, thank you ladies for joining me so very much. I thank appreciate you. you. Holly, you're a dream. Pepper, you're a dream. Caitlin, you are a dream. Bye, sweet ladies. Bye, darling. Now, if you'd like to throw a tip, it's not expected, but if you'd like to throw a little Venmo tip our way for me to distribute to the girls in a time of um, difficulty for artists out there, uh, you can do that by going to Venmo and finding me at Marty Thomas, and I appreciate it so much. Christopher, thank you so much for your tip. Jacob Hoover, a longtime supporter of The Diva Show, thank you for being here, and thank you for um, your shout out and your tip to me and the ladies. We appreciate it very much. All right, now before I introduce you to my two featured guests, I'm gonna sing you one more song. Um, uh, this was one of my favorite tunes to do at the Diva Show. Uh, I remember when this song came out, it was one of those Instagram clickbait songs where it was like above the video. Uh, this song is so famous everywhere in the world except for the United States. I wonder why that is. And um, I wondered why it was too, but it blew up here just as hard. Uh, this is a song by Jess Glenn. This goes out to you, Angela Burchett, as does most of the things I do. Oh, 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 oh. We're a thousand miles from comfort. We have traveled land and sea. But as long as you are with me, there's no place I'd rather be. I would wait forever, exalted in the sea. As long as I am with you, my heart continues to beat. With every step we take, Kyoto to the bay, strolling so casually. With different and the same, gave you another name, switch up the battery. Why, if you gave me a chance, 
course I would take it It's a shot in the dark But I'll make it All of your heart You can't change me When I am with you There's no place I'd rather be Ooh, No place I'd rather be No place I'd rather be Take out on a mission to find our inner peace and make it everlasting. No one's incomplete. It's easy being with you. Oh, sacred simplicity. As long as we're together. There's no place I'd rather be With every step we take Kyoto to the bay Strolling so casually With different men the same Gave you another name Switch up the batteries Oh, if you gave me a chance I would take it It's a shot in the dark But I'll make it No, with all of your heart you can't change me when I am with you. There's no place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. Ooh, yeah. change me when I am there's no place I'd rather be no, 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 no. no place I'd rather be yeah yeah when I am with you there's no place I'd rather be oh thank you so much Thank you. I appreciate the studio audience. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the, seriously, thank you guys all for being here tonight. All of you have tuned in. I appreciate it. Uh, if you're just joining us, you can tip the talent tonight by going to Venmo at Marty Thomas. Uh, throw out what you can afford. If you can't, we completely understand. Uh, right now, no expectations. We're happy if you're just here um, sharing your energy. That is of a tip. Um, but it will also help if you can go to all these ladies' Instagrams and follow them. You can find me on Instagram at Marty Thomas Liu. And uh, right now I get to introduce you to our special guests of the evening. Uh, it was just a crown and a jewel of the Diva show every week that I got to introduce you to three interesting, unique women uh, as my cast members. And the ways I uh, closed our show right before our finale with a special guest artist from the broadcast the recording industry, the dance community. We had um, every Tony winners, Oscar winners, Emmy winners. We had movie stars. We had recording artists. We had Broadway stars. Uh, and we had up and coming talent that I would hear sing in the subway or hear busking or hear on YouTube and find. It was just such a, a glorious time. And one of my all time favorite guests at the Diva Show, she always tore it up. You saw her on Broadway in the color purple. Um, she has a movie coming out this Saturday. Uh, she is going to be on Lifetime. And uh, she is playing one of the almighty artists in the Lifetime biopic. The Clark sisters, the first ladies of soul. Hey! One of our own, uh, starring with Missy Elliott, Mary J. Blige, and Queen Latifah one of our own from the New York community, a treasure of the New York community, uh, is here to join us tonight. Guys, please welcome my dear friend, Angela Burchett. <laughs> hey, Marty! Hey! Yay! Oh, too kind, too kind, Wait, too kind. Look at that, sister! Woo! 
and that's me. I, I wish I could point on the screen, but is that's this, me, the far one? left. Nope. Keep going. Keep going. There keep going. she is. There I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I pulled up the trailer of the movie, and I wanted to try to share it. I'm going to see if... Oh, I would love if you could sh share it. Um, I'm going one way or another. I'm going tonight, but I definitely pulled it up in that in just a second. Um, Angela, tell me, tell uh, all my friends where you're uh, tuned in from. I'm tuned in in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. New Jersey. Yeah. And Jersey. you are hunkered down with friends, family. Yes. Yep. I'm hungry down with a friend, a couple of friends. Uh, we've been together since before the quarantine started. Yeah. And um, yeah. And we're just, we're just hanging in there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I found the trailer. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Let me see if I can. Sh Did it go away? I think it went away. Give me one second. Okay. Technology is our friend. We should be kind. So it will be kind in return. Okay. Mm, it does not want to stay open. I love open, these little it? cameras. <laughs> gonna try one more time to open this, and then we're gonna sing a song, and I'm gonna futz with it. Okay. 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 Uh, and so for everybody, I'm, I don't know why, maybe while you're still doing that, just remind everybody when the movie comes on, uh, Saturday, April 11th, 8 p.m. on Lifetime. Yeah, I'm going to try to share this right now, and then we're going to talk about it. I'm hoping y'all can hear it. Yay! What? Volume up. I can't. On there. There's no volume. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, it never oh. gets old. It I never gets old. I can only imagine, <laughs> Angela. That is so exciting. Um, <sighs> now I don't know if all of you watching from home could see that preview or not. If you haven't, you can go to YouTube and find um, type in the Clark Sisters movie trailer and you can get full sound and really get to see how high quality this movie is, how beautiful it is. Who directed this, Angela? Uh, a young black woman by the name of Christine Swanson, who is also from Detroit. Uh, she directed it. This was an all-female directed, produced, and principal cast. All-female, all-black females. I don't know how you could do a movie of Clark, Clark Sisters without having a team of black women at the helm. Amen. It's true. Um, yeah. Who else could possibly tell that story? And were the Clark sisters a big part of your childhood? Oh, yeah. I mean, they were only like the best thing since sliced bread. Yeah. I, I have sisters as well. And we all sing. And uh, I grew up during, I was young during their, like, kind of their heyday. Their heyday was the 80s and early 90s. So you brought the sunshine, Is My Living in Vain, Miracle. My Redeemer Liveth, all their big hits. My sisters and I sat and just learned every note and sang every nook and cranny. So to be a part of telling their story, it's, it's surreal. It's, it's, it's unlike any other job I've had because these women, I, I, I feel I come, I come alive through, through their music. So for me to be able to portray them, one of them and tell their story is like, I still can't believe it. <laughs> and get voice and it, it's it's beautiful it's amazing oh. what an amazing project it's yeah, exciting it's so exciting Angela and I also got to sing together I mean we've gotten to sing together a lot over the years Tons, yeah but uh we got recently we got to perform on the stage at Carnegie Hall with our Woo! good with our good Judy Titus Burgess um, oh yes 
it's always it's it's beautiful to see uh, friends that you come up with make good and you get to see the rest of the world, see them exactly the way that you've always seen them. Yes. And, um, to watch Titus rise up and get to sparkle is it's an experience, but to get to oh, be yeah. right behind him and get to uh, share it with him was like so magical. And Angela and I got to do a duet where yeah. right up in Titus's face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> blessing. screaming. <laughs> oh, uh, Titus and I have been friends, gosh, almost 10 years now. And, uh, it was a dream come true for me to watch him uh, Same. get to this, you know, I mean, in New York City, Carnegie Hall is one of the biggest things you'll ever do. And to sell out Carnegie Hall, your debut as a solo artist at Carnegie Hall, unbelievable. I mean, and the audience was with him from top oh. to bottom. And we just had a blast. I love him so much. So proud of him. And it speaks so much to who Titus is as a human that yeah. uh, not only that audience was filled people he had never met as well as everyone he's ever met and <laughs> everyone on stage with him were his closest friends that he, yep. he first got to the city. And I know it was so meaningful to me. I'm sure it was for you too. Yeah. Uh, for sure. And I feel exactly the same way waiting for this Clark sisters movie to come out. Cause it's a win for the community. I say. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, just today I was on another interview and the young lady who was interviewing me said the Clark sisters are culture. Oh yeah. And it's so true. It's a it's a sound thing, it's a look thing, it's a ministry thing. It's all the things. And so people are going to be uh reintroduced. There are gonna be people who have never heard of them or think they've never heard of them and are not gonna be able to forget them. So to be able to play pay homage in this way by honoring them, by telling their story. I mean, I don't know, I don't know there's a a better way to, to do it. And um I'm I agree. so grateful and so honored i can't say it enough to be a part of this you're right they are culture and it's like when people say there would be no destiny's child without the supremes what they mean is there'd be no <laughs> destiny's child the clark because the clark sisters their destiny's child sound is so pop but it's so based in what the clark sisters are way ahead of their time oh for sure and they'll tell you that uh, michelle williams was just on last week uh, and she's in a promo where she's talking about how their sounds, a lot of what they listen to to prepare for performances and songs were the Clark sisters. Wait, really? Oh, that yes. was just me, um, just me listening and using these no. ears of mine. No, dead on. She just said it last week, and yeah. I think I'm on. I'm on an interview with her tomorrow, and I'm sure that's going to come up again about Destiny's Child and you know all of the little nuances and little things that they put in there that we just love. And it started with these. Five sisters from Detroit. Oh, wow. Uh, to all my friends at home, everybody watching, you can find uh, Angela Burchett on uh, Instagram at Angela Burchett, her name that's right there below that beautiful face of hers. And uh, you want to get on that train and support this woman uh, because <laughs> she is about to blow up. As you can see, she's there. <laughs> Yay! It's so, it's so crazy. <laughs> on Saturday at 8 o'clock, I hope you'll join me uh, watching on Lifetime to watch Angela debut uh, in the Clark Sisters, the Ladies of uh, the ladies of Gospel with Queen Latifah, Mary C. Elliott. But I should say Mary Blige and Missy Elliott and Queen Latifah are performing with Angela Burchett. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Lucky them. Uh, Angela, I know Queen Latifah's a giant a Clark Sisters fan. I saw the Clark Sisters sing on her TV show. Mm -hmm. uh, they brought them on to sing live and I was baffled at how good they still sound. Oh, and to this day, they just released an album maybe a month or so ago. Wow. And I mean, just dead on. Just, but but modern, like, you know, with the new little sounds and stuff, but they still have, you know, because this is the first album in a long time where yeah. all of them, with the exception of one, have recorded an album. And so we're, I'm grateful. We're all grateful that they're all still with us. They all are still in good voice and they love each other and they wanted to bless us with a new project. And we'll chat about your sisters after this, but would you, uh, would you sing us a song, Angela? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and while I was sitting here, I, was, I had went through like three different songs. I was like, no, it just stay with your first choice. So I'm going to do a little Etta James. Ooh, uh, one fun. of my favorite songs to sing. You'll know it soon as the music starts. Angela okay. Burchett, everybody. <laughs> All right, here we go.
And Je- <laughs> Angela Burchett. Oh. Okay. Holy <laughs> cow. Uh, Thank you, guys. Thank my boyfriend so Jeffrey about broke his wrist wagging at you. He was so excited. <laughs> There's his hey, wrist. Jeff- it barely made it. Okay. So somebody in the thread, as we're learning with this platform, they told me that they couldn't hear the preview. So I'm going to try it one more time by pulling out my headphones and okay. see if we can uh, share it with the folks to show this because it is an exciting moment. Okay. Here- okay. I think you're muted, Marty. Oh, okay, you're great. Okay, now I'm gonna find this thing. Come bring it to the beginning. <laughs> Holy moly! Wrong. I don't Sorry. know why this is so hard, but it is. I'm gonna get there. Yep. <laughs> now we're now we're um, committed. Okay, I'm bringing this, and I'm gonna share that screen. Is what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna do an application window, and there it is. Play it. There's that preview. Yes. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Y'all got gifts to make you stars, but I'm gonna make you stars for Jesus. <coughs> you want me to be the Jackson Five? No. They better than the Jackson Five. You gonna sing for the Lord? You gonna lay down for the devil? You don't just sell the songs. You sold the future. You sold the sister's future. All we ever did was what you wanted us to do. Did you ever ask us what we wanted? She not gonna stay in this house, baby. Like that. Been nominated for best 
soul gospel performer. He's a clock sister. Grammy nominations and number one album. You came, you came. <laughs> there it is. Uh, it, it makes me want to cry almost every time I see almost it. Almost every time. I just, oh, it's so awesome. <laughs> Thank you, oh, Mark, for sharing that. Oh, you got it. I'm just going to adjust my sound real quick audio so that they could hear that. The mic is external phone. There it is. Can you hear me, Angela? Yep. yep. Okay, great. Uh, oh, it's still going through the computer, isn't it? Now you mute it. Okay. There. Can there you hear you me go. now? There it is. Great. Okay. So I will, I will get my audio sorted in just a second. Who are your iconic all-time divas, Angela? Oh! <laughs> uh, definitely. And I wouldn't be... It's not just because the movie is coming out, but in real life. Dorinda Clark Cole, uh, mm -hmm. who is one of the Clark sisters. Definitely Shaka Khan. And... Oh. Ah! Uh-oh, Marty, you muted again. Yeah. I'm here. Oh, there you go. Uh, geez, that's really tough. I'm trying to think in the like Broadway musical world. Like, who do I love? Um, that's, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I, so I do that all the time, too. Can we play ah, a little game? Sure, sure. Oh, okay, so I'm going to name a diva, and you sing the first thing that comes to mind when I name the diva, okay? <laughs> okay. We're going to start with Shaka Khan. Uh, through the fire, through the limb, they want nothing for the chance. Why you got to pick the echo in there? <laughs> girl. Um, yeah, my sound is being wonky. I don't know why. Uh, Whitney Houston. Oh, man. Uh, don't make me close one door. I don't want to hurt anymore. Stay in my arms if you dare. Yeah, I'm a sign imagine you there. Barbara Streisand. Oh, Oh man. Somewhere, someday, we'll find a new way of living. Celine Dion. We'll find a... Oh God. <laughs> Cause I'm your lady. And you are my man. <laughs> Patty LaBelle. Oh God. Hey, hey, hey. Touch in the skin, feel that silk as smooth. Hey, the color of Kathy Olay. <laughs> the Clark sisters. Oh, man. This is a song that everybody doesn't know, but this is my favorite. I have walked in the rain. Yes. Like Paul, I've trained. I have even felt drained. Yes, I have. I have had a taste of sorrow. And from the past, I have borrowed. But somehow, I always felt that there was hope for tomorrow. Wow. Jesus. Uh, now, the chain. to <laughs> close us out, <laughs> what song comes to mind when I say Angela Burchett? <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it is, I don't know, I don't have one yet. <laughs> That's okay. You don't have to have one yet. Uh, but Saturday night, y'all can join me on Lifetime to watch the Clark sisters, the ladies of soul of gospel, uh, where you get to see Angela Burchett uh, debut alongside some of gospel and R&B's most iconic artists of all time. That's where you belong, Angela. I believe in you. Thank you, Marty. I'm such a fan. Thank you for Aww. joining us, Angela. I'm so grateful. Thank Find you. Angela on Instagram at Angela Burchett. Aww. And mwah, love you. Mwah. Marty, thank you for this. Thank I you. I appreciate you providing this for us to express and share. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Love you. Love you. Mwah. 
Um, so I still have one more guest to introduce you to, and I'm super excited about her. I'm going to do one. Making one more quick effort at getting my audio in gear. And I believe, yeah, I think that should do it. Here's hoping. Okay, so this next guest I'm going to introduce you to, just going to remind you one more time that you can find us uh, on Venmo at Marty Thomas. If you'd like to tip the talent tonight, I will distribute that. Uh, the past three weeks, the, the, the singers have been so grateful for your tips, and um, we've all been grateful for your generosity. Uh, we completely realize that a lot of people are unemployed and not working right now, um, so it is not expected. Uh, just really appreciate it if you're able. Um, I'm going to try to say a thank you. This name, it's beautiful. Zulika? Zulika, I think. Maldonado. What a gorgeous name. Thank you for your contribution. Michelle Graham, you beauty. Uh, Michelle Graham says, hey, Angela Burchett. Um, Derek Davis. Ooh, come on, Derek Davis. Uh, my one and only phantom and Christopher, thank you all for, um, tuning in and co contributing to the, uh, the Venmo pool for the talent tonight. We appreciate you. All right. I get to introduce you to my, my final guest this evening. Uh, this, this woman, she is, um, she's a fascinating creature. Uh, she is such, a uh, varied what the gifts that this woman has. If you've never seen this, this woman saying on YouTube or beyond, um, you're going to become obsessed tonight. Uh, she got a lot of fame last year singing on the Ellen DeGeneres show. She's just returned from Paris where she was starring as Fanny Bryce in the, uh, Parisian production of Funny Girl. Um, her, her, her YouTube videos have, millions upon millions of views uh, because of how fascinating it is what she does. She's one of the world's uh, most premier and celebrated celebrity impersonators, but she's also an incredible actress and an incredible vocalist as Christina Bianco. And she's here tonight. I think she's here right now. I'm hoping. I'm going to add her to the stream and see if we've got Christina Bianco. Christina, are you there, my friend? No, Christina, quite yet. Um, so I can you maybe reach out to Christina and see if she's there? Great. I don't know. We're figuring out where Christina is. No big deal. Uh, she'll be here in just a minute. In the meantime, just one more time telling you about our Venmo at Marty Thomas that you can find um, a way to contribute to the talent tonight. And uh, you can find my album on Spotify and on the iTunes through Broadway Records if you'd like to support uh, my album. And uh, you can find Caitlin Martin on Instagram at the Caitlin Martin, Pepper Solana at Pepper Solana, uh, Holly Butler at Performing Pinup, Angela Burchett at Angela Burchett. I'm going to send this link to um, sweet Christina once again, copy, and maybe she'll be able to join us through that. Oh, there she is. All time. Hi. I, I was here the whole time watching. Oh, I don't like, know what I'm happened. Here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here screaming. So I logged in and logged <laughs> out again. Or logged out and logged in again. Hello. I'm sorry, Christina. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, I've got okay. a new backdrop for you that okay, I'm so I'm excited about. I'm ready uh, for the backdrop. i got to find my... There she oh, goes. Oh, thank you for that. Oh, thank you so much, Marty. I'm sorry we couldn't find you. Technical difficulties. This is our first night trying this platform. That's okay. And there's so <laughs> it would have been I'm hilarious letting. if everybody could hear me. I was like, I tell him I'm here. I'm trying to text, but it's all fine now. Hi. Um, Christina, why... when, did, when did you return from Paris? About three days before I couldn't have, like three wow. days before they locked down. And um, it's funny, yeah, I was doing Funny Girl in Paris. Thank you for mentioning that. Uh, this great, it was a West End production and West End casting crew just doing it in Paris. Just miserable experience, you know, awful. Oh yeah, um, I bet. <laughs> and it was so good and the show was so well received. We, the show was extended. And so we were so devastated that it had to end because it could have been extended again, but the theater had another production that had to come in. But everything worked out perfectly because 
we couldn't have extended because this happened. So we ended literally, I think, on March March 7th. I flew out of Paris on the 9th, and by, I think, the 11th, they began the big lockdown. So, I mean, I just made it. I just made it home. So I'm really happy to be home uh, in New York. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was definitely a strange uh, jolt back to reality or, or this weird reality we're all living in now, for sure. I bet. Um, I loved watching uh, the footage of the show. Thank that you. You're so good about sharing your life on um, Instagram <laughs> and on the I know. socials. And I'm trying we- to be. I'm trying to be better. Be oh, you're great that. at it. You're so generous with um, with your career. You share it with people mm-hmm. all the time. Um, but we were so glad to be able to get to see some of the footage because, you know, our friends do these awesome shows and in theater, sometimes you just you don't get to see what they're working on. So it's so beautiful that you had such great footage. You got to do a big huge TV shows in France as well. Oh my gosh, it was incredible. I mean, it's, uh, I've been, I've been lucky, as you mentioned, I was on Ellen here in the States. I've been lucky to be, you know, one person going on a show and performing with a piano or something like that. But, but this, with this production, um, they were so excited to have a Broadway or West End style show in Paris. It's not done very often that all the TV shows that don't normally care about musicals or even a lot of musicians in general, um, they were just over the moon to have Funny Girl on the show, I guess because people knew the movie and also because the show was blessed, hey, to get great reviews. We were the talk of the town. So I was on the equivalent of like Stephen Colbert of The Tonight Show singing what you might hear me sing in a little bit. I mean, it was just, it was a whirlwind. And then, and my husband was joking. He's like, you're gonna come home and you're gonna be like, but where's my audience? And, and where, where are the standing ovations? And where's my French baguette and my croissant every day? <laughs> <laughs> I do I, that anyway. Yeah. And I haven't been to Paris in years. Uh, Jeffrey I mean, I've never and I, been so spoiled in my life, really. <laughs> Jeffrey and I are um, scheduled to go to Europe in the fall. Perfect uh, timing. We should know, be all I'm, perfect by then. We'll see. I'm hoping. I'm scheduled to go there with our family vacations to go to Venice. And we were going to extend the trip and go to um, London and Paris and a few other cities in uh, Europe to sing from my album. And we're hoping it happens. Well, I'm going to be optimistic. I mean, every day it's it's hard to be optimistic every day. I'm a pretty positive person, but I've already dealt with some some mood swings I was not quite prepared for. And just being, I I was telling, it's not was saying it's not quite my being depressed. It's more my being like indifferent. I kind of get despondent. It's my new thing that I'm doing in this environment. I'm sort of just like, yeah, whatever. Doesn't really matter. But it does. And we have to sort of snap out of it and go, you know, this will end. And the more diligent we are now, and though it stings to stay at home, the more create creative things that we can do like this and interacting in any ways that we can like this, Marty, which I'm so grateful that you're doing this. It's also helpful to keep us connected. And that way we can all jump back into the real world. Yeah, and <laughs> maybe, you and I... Maybe appreciating, a, you know, social interaction and the arts a little bit more. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, I am too. And you and I yeah. have so much in common in that we're both movers yeah. and shakers and we keep creating. Um, I, you've been creating throughout this that you're, you're you've <laughs> always been an innovator in being able to create your own content and take control of your own career. Uh, the, this video that you released, I think it was last week, um, a quarantine parody of um, uh, from Wicked. Oh, <laughs> I can't so take funny. credit for writing that. That that that's a sweet, wonderful Gina Naomi Baez. It was her idea, but but she had seen what I'd done uh, on social media, and she wanted to collaborate. And so even in even in lockdown, I was able to collaborate and do a really really fun, sweet video that then got a lot of attention and got picked up. So you just never know. You know, you got to say yes to things, and uh, whatever you put out there, you never would know where it may lead. It's very true, and um, but you're very inspiring to me, and I know to a lot of other artists that. Um, seeing what you're able to create for yourself is it's awesome thank you marty thank you you too you too (laughs) thank you friend would you sing us a song christina yeah um you know because i'm still clearly completely obsessed with funny girl and because (laughs) it's no secret we are we are hoping this production will have a future life and we should know pretty soon so i'm putting the good juju out there and i'm going to belt in your faces and sing a little don't rain on my parade for you because we're going to go classic i really did not want to follow angela so thank you very much for that but i'm just going to gonna do my own my own musical theater belting wow. version of it here we go Hold Christina on. Actually- Bianco everybody yeah what's up <laughs> no it'll be fine there it is <laughs> of course it stopped because you said it'll be fine so here we go one more time <laughs> why is it not playing <laughs> Don't 
tell me not to live, just sit and putt. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. Don't tell me not to fly, I've simply got to. If someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. Who told you I'm allowed to rain on my parade? I'll march my band down. I'll beat my drum. And if I'm found out, you're tired of that, sir. At least I didn't think it hot. I guess I didn't make it But here behind the rose of sheer perfection A freckle on the nose of life's complexion The cinder on a shiny apple of its eye I gotta fly once, I gotta try once Only can die once, right, sir? Oh, love is juicy, juicy And you say I'm gonna have my boat, sir Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a cop I simply gotta march my heart to direct don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. I'm gonna live and live now. Get what I want. I know how. One roll above the whole shabang. One throw that bell will go clang. Eyes on a target and well. One shot, one gunshot, and damn! Hey, look at me, world, here I am. Hey, let my band down, I'll beat my drum. And if I'm found out, you turn it back, sir. At least I didn't fake it, hat. I guess I didn't make it get ready for me, love, cause I'm a cover. I simply got a bunch my words and rather nobody, no, nobody. It's gonna rain on my It is so funny belting into a circle light, but. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so freaking good. Thank you. I, I really, I really, you know, we are so lucky in this industry it, when we get to do what we love, whether it be in a little nightclub in a black box theater or in, you know, big, big uh, concert halls or, or, you know, venues like I got to play in Funny Girl. And I don't take any of it for granted, you know, the big, the small and everything in between. But that was that show was an embarrassment of riches for me. And so I'm so glad that I got to share a tiny, small little piece of that with you tonight. Um, for those of you who didn't get to see uh, any of the clips, if you're not friends personally with Christina and you haven't seen her videos, find her on uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. The handle is at Xtina, X-T-I-N-A mm -hmm. Bianca one. One. Xtina Bianca one. Can you type that into the thread for me, babe? Yep, it was um, the only thing oh, left okay. across all handles. It was my only option. Uh, I should type it in. Oh. I got it. Oh, is it not coming up? If I do it. Tina Bianco one there. You can find her on Instagram uh, there and um, find her on YouTube as well, because you'll see uh, some amazing footage. She just posted a video from closing night of the production of Funny Girl. There's uh, some footage in the commercial that I posted on Facebook before this of her singing on a major TV show doing Don't Rain on My Parade. But even better, you get to see a lot of her impersonation videos and a lot yeah. of the videos that really brought her into the national spotlight. Her doing her Celine Dion impersonation on Ellen DeGeneres, on the Queen Latifah show, the Today Show. Uh, she's just <laughs> been everywhere. You make you sound very cool. Thank you very much. You Martin. are Thank very you. cool, Christina. Uh, so if you're not following her, please do me a solid and follow her. And uh, would you do like some impersonations part. for us? I had a feeling you would ask. So let's let's do this. Let's, now, let's just off the cuff. Let's go Now, for sometimes it. I just say, do what you do. But <laughs> Jeffrey and I are big fans of yours. Mm -hmm. And we, if you're open to 
having us throw something at I, you? As long as I do the impressions, we're good. <laughs> okay, so this I'll hat. I'll be honest, I don't do a lane stretch. I can't do it. This <laughs> hat is a hat full of uh, songs. <laughs> this hat is a hat full of celebrities. Excellent. Now we're going to draw a song out of this hat okay. and then ask you to sing that <laughs> song as a celebrity from this hat. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I'm pulling out two <laughs> pieces of paper. Um, the song is Walking in Memphis. <laughs> the artist is Bernadette Peters. <laughs> when I'm walking in Memphis, walking with my feet 10 feet off a bill, walking in Memphis, but do I really feel the way I feel? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this That's song. Ridiculous. Oh my god, this song, babe. Uh, the song is "Bitch," the '90s <laughs> anthem by Meredith Brooks, oh. as sung <laughs> by Julie Andrews. <laughs> uh, lover, child, mother. Um, Ew, I'm a bitch. I'm a lover. I'm a child. I'm a mother. I'm a sinner. I'm a saint. Um, what's the line? I do um, not feel I ashamed. I do not feel ashamed. I'm your hell. I'm your dream. I'm nothing in between. You. I started too high. You know I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she should have done that a lot lower. I should give it a little. Oh. I'm a bitch. <laughs> Bitch, there's your ending. There you go. That's my ending. Okay, this is Broadway Baby, a song no classic. Broadway Baby. As sung by Christina Aguilera. I hate you so much. <laughs> the uh, hat. Okay, I think it's I think it's a good key. <laughs> I hate you. Someday maybe if I stick it long enough, I can get to struck by stuff. Working for a nice man like a zip code or a wasp and a prey be run away. When I woke up, I had no idea that's what I needed, but now I do know that. Oh my god. Okay, Sweet Child of Mine. The oh, I 80s love that song. rock song, as sung by the divine Miss M, Bette Midler. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a second! You gotta give me a second here because Bet needs to change that tempo. So if the five people watching who know me know that I love Bet Midler is one of my big inspirations, particularly her live concerts as a live performer. I try to emulate her, but whenever I'm asked to impersonate her, I only ever think of Boogie 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 Boy, which is like totally not what she should be known for. <laughs> but I need to turn Sweet Child of Mine into Boogie 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 Boy right now. Yeah. <laughs> She's got a smile and it seems to me it reminds me of childhood memories when everything was as fresh as a bright blue sky. Oh, sweet child of mine. Oh, 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 oh sweet love of mine. Oh my God, that's so spot on. This is Hey Big Spender. Shit. No, nope. I want. I'm sorry. I want to hold this one till the button. This oh, is because that's such a good combo. This is never gonna give you up by uh, Rick Astley. Is that Rick Astley? Never gonna give yes. you up. As Come sung on. by um the honestly the star of the quarantine. Her basement is anyway. <gasps> Don't Patty say LaPone. it. Patty LaPone. <laughs> Shoot. Um, I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. I need the lyrics. Uh, uh I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around. Turn, okay. turn uh, around, around okay. and okay. forget. Never gonna, never gonna. <laughs> okay, one, two. <laughs> never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around, down, da, da, da. never gonna make it up, never gonna lie, go down, never gonna tell around, oh, yeah. <laughs> I need a da at the end. Just pretend there was a D somewhere in there. And you can't write that I drew this out next, but this is um, Rainbow High, that as sung by Adina Menzel. Good luck. I'm gonna throw a shoe at you, but for the wrong reason. Uh, Adina Menzel singing, <clears throat> Rainbow High, I can do this. I could play Adina. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna start too high. You know I'm gonna start too high. It's my thing. I <laughs> I I 
I am the savior, that's what they call me. So long in the tummy, anything goes. I need to be thrilling, I have to be ring. In magical girls. That's enough. Oh my god. Liza Minnelli. Oh, come on. Singing Conga by Gloria Estefan. Come and check about it, do that conga. No, we can't control yourself any longer. Feel the rhythm of your body getting stronger. Come and check about it, do that conga beat. That is, those are not the lyrics. Oh my god. Da -da 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 -da. I want it that way by the Backstreet Boys, as sung by Kristen Chenoweth. I needed a cocktail before this, Marty. <laughs> um, I want it that way. I love that song. Thank you. I was a Backstreet Boys girl, not an NSYNC girl. No offense to NSYNC. I just chose the Backstreet Boys. I want it that way. <laughs> Shit. Shoot. You are my fire, the one desire. Believe when I say I want it that way. To be free, ain't nothing but a heartache. Ain't nothing but a mystic. Oh, oh, oh. I never want to hear you say I want it that way. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my God. Living on a prayer. Oh no. By a Barbara bonus Streisand. Okay. I usually do it as like Edith Piaf or something. So here we go. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> Living on a prayer. The words are going to be good. I'm going to like really eat the mic on this because I'm going to do her soft. If I can after all, <clears throat> all that. Um, let me get the right line here. You've, you've got to hold. Okay. You've got to hold on to what we've got. Doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. We've got each other, and that's why I love what we love. Let's give it a shot. Oh, what we hear? Oh, living on a prayer. Take my hand, we'll make it a swear. Oh, living on a prayer. <laughs> You're going to love this. Um, on the Steps of the Palace from Into the Woods, as sung by Britney Spears. Shush. Shush yourself. Okay, so you know I'm a Sondheim fan, so you know I know these lyrics. But Britney Spears, this is going to be a... Don't listen to this, Stephen Sondheim, is all I could say. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very smart dance. It's a prince of the it's just brilliant. <laughs> well, got, that's a very strong word for what I'm pulling out right I've now. I've got one you. more for you. Um, I pulled this one in the middle, but it was just so delightful. And, it has um, to be Celine Dion then. You know she's my ultimate. And uh, Celine Dion singing Hey Big Spender. <laughs> when you said you were waiting, I was like, it's Shirley Bassey or Celine Dion. So here <laughs> is Celine Dion singing something Shirley Bassey made famous, even after Sweet Charity. <sighs> I'm going to have to build this one. What did you want? Okay. Hello, my friends. I'm so happy to be here tonight, <laughs> Marty and the Divas. The minute you walked in the joint, I could see you were a man of distinction, a real big spender. Good looking, I serve and found. Well, wouldn't you like to know what's going on in Celine's mind? But you do right to the point. I don't pop my call for every guy I see. Hey, big spender. Yay! I forgot all those intervals. 
Uh, my friend Rachel Potter is on and she's she's dying. I can see her rolling and laughing right now. Thank you, Rachel. I love you. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, Rachel, to all of you out there, Rachel and I host a Wednesday night show that you can find on YouTube Live uh, called Quarantine Cabaret, where we bring on guests every week. This week we have Michael Kilgore of <gasps> Broadway's Motown and um, NBC Live and I'm so many watching. things. Brand new album out. Uh, Christina, would you come chat with us sometime on Quarantine Cabaret? Absolutely. I would love to. Thank you. Anytime. We would love to have you so much. Um, <laughs> this has been such a fun night. Thank you to Angela Burchett. We're going to tune in on Saturday night to see her movie. Thank you to the Divas, yes, Caitlin and Holly and Pepper. Uh, Christina, thank you so much for Thanks, joining Marty. us tonight. You guys can find her on Instagram and YouTube, Xtina Bianco one um, I'm going to play our finale video that the girls recorded remotely. Would you stick on with me while I, I play that, Christina? Absolutely. Let's do so it. thank you guys. Find, um, subscribe to me on YouTube if you want to see the Diva Show next week because we're going to be streaming regularly every Monday night at 8 from YouTube and Facebook. And, uh, oh, what did I just do? Uh, right now, <laughs> every fine. week um, at the old Diva Show, we closed the show. Christina hosted the show. She guested on the show. And every week we would close out the show with um, I'm a Woman from Smokey Joe's Cafe. Which and I don't remember the lyrics. <clears throat> we've been doing that remotely, uh, just having everybody film um, individually. And I edited it together. So to close out the show in the way that we know how, here are the Divas one more time. Um, an application window. Mm -hmm. Diva Woman share and christina thank you so much i appreciate you here are the divas well i can't hear it starting it back over i was muted my bad <laughs> That's Caitlin Martin. Christina for joining me. If you'd like to tip for the talent on uh, Venmo, find me on Marty Thomas. Subscribe on YouTube. Come back and join us next week. My special guest, Melinda Doolittle, yeah, and the yeah. divas, Michelle Green, Maggie McDowell, and Olivia Lucy Phillips. Next Monday at 8 o'clock. Wednesdays, 
tune in for Quarantine Cabaret. Our guest this week is Michael Kilgore of Broadway's Motown. Uh, join me and Rachel Potter. Thank you guys one more time. Have a great night. Christina, I love you. Love you, love you Mike. Mike. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Yeah.